Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show you a brand new smartphone app photo book, Pocket Memories. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. I also have a Patreon page now if you want to show your support for this channel. The photo books by Pocket Memories were launched on the 5th of October 2020, so just a month ago, and you can download the app from the Apple Store and the Google App Store. So what is it all about? Well, in a nutshell, as the name suggests, the books are rather small in size and this is also reflected in the very budget-friendly prices. All the books by Pocket Memories are lay flat and they use recycled materials and are made in the UK. And finally, the creation process is on smartphones and is driven by AI algorithms, so artificial intelligence. There are quite a number of smartphone photo book editors on the market, so it's rather difficult to create something that stands out or something that offers something substantially better or different than the other photo book editors on the market. Having said that, I have to say that these books are not just gorgeous, but they're also beautifully presented at an unbeatable price. So let's see what we get. The first thing you'll need to do is go into the App Store and download the Pocket Memories app onto your phone. When you open it, it's going to show you the main dashboard where you can create a new photo book. You have to click on the plus button and then you have to select from three different sizes. Accordingly, you've got the mini pocket book, which is 9.5 by 9.5 centimeters. It's a soft cover book and it costs only three pounds 99 pence. The second one is the MIDI photo book, which is again soft cover, but slightly bigger, 14 by 14 centimeters. And it's going to set you back five pounds 99 pence. And the third one, the nicest one is the luxury photo book, which is the same size, but has a glossy hardcover and it's going to cost you £7.99. So as you can see, all three books in the entire range are extremely affordable. They are all under £10. So let me show you the book now as I tend to talk too much. Now this is a presentation box that you can choose or pay for in the end checkout process. A little bit more on this later. And when you open it, I had this cute thank you note from the company with a little heart and again some information about the products in the back and I had a, a surprise little Merry Christmas pocket size book as well and this is my luxury size photo book. So it comes in a same size box and this is the small size the 9.5 by 9.5 centimeters and this one is the bigger size the 14 by 14 centimeters so you can choose from these two sizes now i'm going to go through the creation process and then i show you more about the books so when you select the size of the photo book that you want to create then you have to uh, select your photos now you've got two options here you can either select the photos manually from your camera roll or you can use one of the automatically created photo books that the app made for you already. The app is going to ask for permission to access your photos. Of course, you have to allow that. And once you did that, it's going to create books automatically based on your events, the dates, or the photos belonging to the same scene. When you look through these automatic books, you can select a photo book that was created from a birthday event or on a specific day and you can have a look at how the uh, artificial intelligence combines your photos together into one photo book. Now when I created this book I actually went with the manual selection because I prefer that and when you start making a photo book manually you have to select 20 photos. Once you get to the next page it's going to be the editor and you're going to see every page in the photo book laid out very nicely with the cover on the top. At this point, you'll notice the biggest kind of drawback or restriction of the app that the book has to have a minimum of 20 pages and the maximum of 20 pages. That is, it must have 20 pages exactly. And you know, that's kind of common with most app photo books, but it's certainly not going to be suitable for every kind of occasion or every kind of an idea that you have in your mind. Sometimes you just want an extra few pages. The AI algorithm is a very handy feature if you want to create a photo book very quickly without manually selecting the photos. It's going to select the best ones and the nicest ones, the sharpest ones from the same scene. 
The problem with that is that it's not going to work in every kind of scenario. For example, if you want to create a photo book which has pictures from different dates and different events, so for example, if you want to create a photo book for your baby and you want one photo from each of the last 12 months, the AI algorithm is not going to be able to create a book automatically selecting those photos. You have to select them manually and then it's going to put them into the book automatically. Once you are in the editor, uh, you can of course rearrange your pages and you can change the layout on each double page spread. And on each spread you can have three different layouts, you can have a photo across the two pages, you can have two photos or you can have three photos on the spread. And you can also edit the front cover and as you can see the front cover has a very Instagram look so you can select a color for this, choosing from many different vibrant colors, you can change the text at the front and you can change the font as well. And of course that applies to the spine, but you can't change the actual layout of the front cover. So it has to be one landscape photo, this background here and the text on top of it. In the press release uh, from Pocket Memories, they stated that one of the main reasons for creating the app was to get rid of or avoid the painful process of editing photo books and spending uh, an awful lot of time making these books. I have to kind of disagree with that statement because although I appreciate that many people will not have the time to edit photo books or do not enjoy the process, I still feel that creating photo books uh, it's kind of a hobby for most of us and it's a creative outlet and if we let AI algorithms do the process for us in every photo book editor, uh, it's kind of taking away half the fun from the, you know, the whole experience. So it's good to have the option of an automated uh, book creation process, but you need to offer something that people can express themselves in something that will make my photo book look different to yours, something that's going to reflect a little bit more on my personality. So once you're finished with your book, you have to put it into your cart, go to checkout, and there are no upgrades for different papers and different covers at the moment, but you can pay for an extra presentation box, which um, you can see here. So it's basically a white box with the Made With Love logo on the top. So it's not a Pocket Memories logo, but um, you can obviously recognize the branding, but it's still a nice gift box if you want to give it to somebody as a gift. You don't need to wrap it, you can just put it into the box and it fits the size of the photo book. I think it's really cute, it's very pretty, it's minimalist and it costs £1.99 for the smaller one and £2.99 for the bigger one. The books are then this page within 48 hours. If you are in the UK, you should get it within two working days. If you are somewhere else in Europe, I think it's five to seven days. And for those of you in the rest of the world, it's around seven to 10 working days. So it's a very fast delivery and processing time and you can get them very quickly. Also, delivery was so cheap. Uh, I'm not sure how much it costs for like the United States or Sweden, but within the UK, it was only 99 pence to get the books delivered. So it's very cheap, very fast, very efficient. Now, finally, let's see the books in a little bit more detail, my usual cover binding paper print quality. So the first thing I wanna talk about again is the sizes, which I've already shown you, so I don't wanna repeat myself, but you've got two sizes. Both are really cute sizes. Now, what I wanna say about this is that perhaps these two sizes are not going to be satisfactory for everybody or for every occasion. Also, when you give something to somebody who is slightly older or has problems with you know, eyesight, like great, great grandparents and so on, this tiny book might not be the best option because they might struggle to see uh, faces or detail in these books. So I would definitely go for the bigger one, the um, midi or the luxury, which is the same size, but one is soft cover, the other one is hard cover. Uh, if you give it to friends or, you know, younger people or babies, kids, I think this is perfect for that, especially for smaller children, because their tiny hands, you know, can fit these better. You've got two covers to choose from, which is the hard cover and the soft cover. Now the soft cover is glossy and is the same thickness as the inner pages, and the hard cover is a nice hardback, 
and as you can see it is glossy i love both covers they are very good quality and i actually really love this uh, vivid colorful look it's a very very instagram look if you look at this book there is no other option for the covers at the moment like leather linen or matte but i don't think that for this price you should expect luxury covers let's have a look at the binding because that's where these books really stand out and excel so all of these books even the tiny soft cover book is seamless lay flat so if i start again going through this book you can see that it stays fully flat and the pictures go across both pages and it's a very nice binding on the spine. It's the same for the bigger book which I created from my photos from Hawaii and as you can see again it's a nice double spread without any interruption in the middle. You can of course use it as separate pages but you can create photos going across both pages like this one which is very nice. So the binding is really good for the price. I can't think of any other lay flat, seamless lay flat photo book that would be under £10, especially not for £4. So really worth the price. One more thing about the binding. If you look at this book, that's the front cover and the and the photos are going to start on the inside of the front cover. So there's no fly leaf and that's how it finishes as well. So the back of the back cover or the inside of the back cover. It's not really my favorite thing to see in a photo book, but it really does save space. Let's talk a few words about the paper options or paper used in the book because you you don't really have any options. The paper they chose for the books is a high gloss smooth surface paper. As you know, I really love high gloss paper because it makes the colors look very vibrant and it's also very good for dynamic range. The highlights are going to be brighter and the shadows are going to be dark and you get very nice blacks on it. So it's the same in every single photo book and you don't have an option for um, a matte or something like that. The paper is very thick for a book of this size. It is bendable, but it is really strong and sturdy. Again, this is 10 sheets. So 20 pages and that's how thick it is. Really strong, well done. Another thing to note about the paper is that it's all recycled material. So if you are green or if you care about the environment, which we all should, then this is going to be very good news for you. And the final thing to talk about is the print quality. All of these books use HP Indigo printers, which if you follow me, you should know that is a very good um, kind of average, I don't like that word, like mid-market press quality print. That means that the photos are made up of tiny, tiny dots and it's basically giving you a very sharp image, good colors, but it's not going to be as dynamic or as natural looking as silver halide photographic printing. Now, given the price of these books, that they're less than £10 and the other one is £4, I think that the print quality is excellent for the price. It's very dynamic very vivid and vibrant. So what's the final verdict? I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why you should really get these books and I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why you might want to look at alternatives. So here are the reasons why you are going to love these books. The seamless lay flat binding is extremely rare to find at this price. I don't even think if anybody else does it at this price. It's beautifully done, a very good binding and it's going to last. It gives you a very nice uninterrupted flow of images. I like the pages and the paper. It's a very good glossy paper, very strong. Again, for the price that you pay, you're going to get a very high quality product. The price is unbeatable. It's less than 10 pounds for all of these books and the price is never going to be more than that because you can't add extra pages and you can't choose upgrades so you know exactly how much you're going to pay for each of these books. The creation process was very easy and very quick. You can do it manually but you can also do it with the AI algorithm. It comes with a very nice presentation box again for a very very uh, affordable price. It has good print quality inside and a very nice minimalist look to these books. And finally just a few reasons why you might want to be looking at some alternatives. The main reason is the restriction to 20 pages. The second one is the size selection. You've only got two sizes, you haven't got any large or extra large sizes and I know the name says pocket memories so it shouldn't be anything bigger that wouldn't fit into your pocket but I'm just saying because it's a photo book app so if you're looking for a bigger photo book then a different company might be a better choice. The other thing I noticed is that you can't have any text inside the book so you can change this text at the front 
but you can't add text boxes inside the book. At least I couldn't find any such option. So the book is going to be perfect for photo only uh, projects, but you can't put stories into it or anything like that. And finally, there is a lack of options when it comes to the cover and paper. Although I do like the ones they chose, but there is no option for a matte paper and there is no option for a matte cover or a different material. So that's the end of this review. Um, to be honest, I really love these books. I think they are perfect for smaller gifts, for a quick gift or to give it to, to somebody. Like if you have a wedding, Obviously, you wouldn't do your wedding book in this because it doesn't give you the same kind of options that you would expect for a wedding book. But if you just want to give a book to your guests with some of their favorite photos or photos of them from the wedding as a nice gift, then it's an amazing price and a very good quality, nice book to give away, especially if you have to create a lot of them. It's also amazing for smaller children, kids, and for family gifts for any occasion. If you have any more questions for these books, please leave them in the comments. I try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, subscribe for more.